This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Bat Flip Dynasty. Uh, it is a prototype. Um, it is from Scorelander Games. Uh, I believe that it is coming to... Um, I, I believe that they're going to do a fundraiser for it. Um, but right now I'm looking at a prototype of it. Um, and they are still working on the rules and stuff like that. But it's very interesting, quick-moving game. Um, and we're going to go down, we're going to take a look at it, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on the other side of this. And as I get more data about it, I will make sure to relay it on you if this is something that interests you. So uh, let's go down to the table and check it out. So this is a neat little game, and I, I, I'm not going to explain everything, but I'm going to give you an idea of what's going on here. You're going to pick a manager and a team. Now, in the upper left-hand corner is how much you can spend on that team. That's the maximum amount of value that you can have. There are certain abilities that are going to uh, be that you are going to get while while having that particular team and depending on what you want to do you want to get wins and the most amount of wins is going to win the season and you're going to get one of these little cups okay and if if you're playing two player if you win three seasons uh you are going to uh, obviously advance to the playoffs or if you're just playing uh, against somebody you're going to win you're going to draw both players are going to draw five cards one two three four five now there's different types of players that you can get in here. You can um, get prospects, okay, which you can put off to the side. And as you know, you're playing, uh, you can add prospects and then eventually get them to go into your team. Because at the end of the season, you're going to have arbitration and stuff like that, and people are going to want more money and stuff like that. I mean, you may go over, but you got to stay within your budget. But you are going to take a look at those five cards, okay? And you are going to pick one player. Your, other, your opponent's going to do the same thing. Like, this guy's going to cost me five million. That's going to go against my, my cap here. But he's a pretty good player. Because if you look here, okay, you're going to get to roll a die, okay, uh, in the first round. And then in the second round, uh, in the draft, you are going to roll two dice okay what does that mean I'll explain it you're gonna be trying to fill these cards because if you don't fill these cards okay you are gonna get the minimum amount of wins but if you can fill these cards you are going to get the maximum amount of wins okay so say we bought this guy and of course we're gonna put uh, our cap of five million on there which is going to take away from our our which we call it we're going to roll a die here you get these little dies okay all right well that fits right in there so i could put that right there good all right so i would pass these cards over to the left uh and then i would get his cards and then we would take a look at his cards and go okay so we're going to get our team together of five players okay and uh just to see and you know uh, this guy's a little different okay he's cheap but he has an ability okay he's not gonna get us any runs even if we fill this in but he gets pumped up Chris gets a maximum one win for each power icon on your dice okay so if there are power icons and what you're going to do is you're going to add up the dice on the bottom here so it's gonna be two three four five six seven and you know depending on what the other guy has okay you are going to roll those dice of course we didn't roll the rest of the dice for everybody else but you are going to roll all these dice okay and in the box that's where they would be now what you would do is you would go first and depending on what you do add an extra team dice for each prospect on your active roster well I have none that's an ability that the manager can give you okay if you have at least one of each of the six icons and there are six icons on here okay if you have at least six of those icons out well you're going to get extra wins okay especially if you have at least four of any icons add four wins okay that that works too so i would pick a die and i'd go well 
who do I want? You know, I, I, I got the shield here for this guy here. Uh, is there a glove? I would take the glove, okay, and put it there. All right, that works for me, right? So I'm almost on my way to five wins. Then my opponent would would take one. Then I would grab one and I go, oh, there's that 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 one that I want there. Okay, there. I've, I've, I've cinched up five wins. If you have a prospect on your active roster, and Antoine Bunt's dice are team dice. Oh, and our team dice. Well, that's that's interesting, but I don't have him on my on my active roster. So you, you would go back and forth until you can fill in certain areas, and the areas that you don't fill in, fill in you, that you you would just uh, you know make that crooked, okay. And as you can see, maybe we would grab one of these and put it over here. And remember, he gets ability. He's cheap. He costs one one million, but. I do have a chance to get a run. And at the end of this, and say that we weren't able to fill all this in, we would get five because we filled that in, zero for that, but he got one because that ability was over there. So that's six wins, okay? And then, um, and he didn't fill out, so that's seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we would add up our, our uh, the other sides and see what they have. Maybe they have 11, but then we pull whatever other ones that we have. And whoever has the most wins after that would win the first basically round, okay? And then what you would do is go into arbitration, possibly draw more players and so forth and so on. Uh, you can cut players and do all kinds of different things to try to adjust your deck and and get the best team out there so you can have maximize your win potential very interesting game in early stages but i really like what it does it's a great two player game i think it really works best with two players um and and, and uh, you know you can set up your teams where you can have playoffs and stuff like that or or determine if you're playing four players which i think is really interesting uh whoever wins the mo most season and whoever wins the second most seasons would go into a playoff mode and that's where some of these abilities would uh, there's so many different ways that you that you can play this but very interesting you get a ton i mean there's a ton of different players managers and teams and stuff uh that are going to get the baltimore pinchers uh 25 million cap you get some really uh, interesting players on top of that you can never have more than one of the same position like you have a right fielder center fielder but you can't have two right fielders makes sense pitchers you can have more than one so this is a great game that's in pro process and um, I, I really think it's coming along nicely. We've been messing around with it and we're liking what we see. But um, as more information comes about, I will let you know as it goes. But I think this is one that you guys would really, really like. A nice little quick sports card game that really hits home and does a great job. So let's go up top and get my final thoughts and then we'll get on out of here. So this is a game that's still in development. They're still working on the rule book. I like the concept where you have a certain amount of money, you're gonna be able to pick your team, and you have to win so many seasons by getting so many runs. And, and um, it's really kind of unique how you, you, know, you attribute as many dice as you can, and then you are going to be uh, placing those to get the maximum or the minimum of those runs and depending on who has the higher run value it's going to uh, uh, count the managers have an effect the teams have an effect and abilities and these type of things as a GM you are trying to figure out how to manufacture the most runs which is really cool and you play two out of three of course depending on player count you, uh, you know whoever has the most trophies um, it's in its early stages but this game does have a lot of potential and um, it, it, it really hits on a few things on how expensive some players can be which is naturally just uh, what kind of things really happen um, I, I've been reading the two different rule books and they just sent me a newer version of it 
and it's coming along. It really is. I think this has a ton of potential um, and um, really is a very interesting game. So uh, as this progresses, I will, uh, of course, keep you uh, informed of what's going on here and how it goes. But this is a nice little game. And if, if you are a fan of baseball, I think you would really enjoy this. So Bat Flip Destiny, uh, Dynasty, uh, check it out. See if you can create your own dynasty. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon, everybody.